Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know where to begin, but today is a good day. Yo, you cannot imagine how happy I found out that this sneak peek not included just one of my wishes, but two. Yo, this is ridiculous. Let's just get it started. So we have our February 2nd of a sneak peek. And uh, we're gonna get the other brother. Oh, and he is a physical knight. Uh, he's a tank. What? Uh, do, do we even need a tank like this? Uh, what? I'm gonna build him. I don't care. He's got like... Now, there has been a global tendency that we are getting characters that are mages but heal mages that can actually do damage on a front line such as lucicu so maybe we might be looking at our first character that can tank and kill your ass well not counting that daily on um, penetration can actually do a pretty decent amount of damage to frontliners with a lot of hp so let's let's take that out of the way and I don't even know where to start, but let's just check out what we have. Now, in terms of a general sense, and this is just going off of straight of the boss, and I know this is pure speculation, because Lucicule on floor 80, Tower of Challenge, well, it really doesn't even look like the character that you can play right now. So, let's just emphasize on what Shockmare really does. It says, more money he gets, more damage he does. That is on uh, this stuff. On a sicker skill, we got some lifesteal that people cannot do. Heal rate reduction, hey, that is good for Galgoria straight A. And cannot be removed until the target falls below 30% HP. Great, now whether this will be the skill that we will get, I don't quite know, man. Now we have the Storm of Hatred, which means it deals more damage to enemies with lower attack speed. Now, if this is anything, right? Combine it with Bernheim's S1, combine it with Kane's as one nobody will be getting attack speed and obviously there are many characters who can reduce attack speed so if he would actually do damage that would be interesting the next one is one of the skills that if he gets that by any chance broken shockman is not affected by attack speed reduction and a defense reduction now that is great now that still does not take into account of penetration or ignore defense i wish it would but maybe it will in the future additionally he recovers mana quickly and the higher mana he has his block chance will be increased that is a value which is insane if you do pair this up with a shea a Lias, you will have yourself a pretty unkillable tank with normally zero block and this is also not taking into account what uh, the main boss is actually doing. So can he summon totems as a tank? Can he really just AOE stun a full team? Because if he can, he will become crazy. And I'm so looking forward to playing this dude. But ladies and gentlemen, this is not all. Now from the looks of it, there will be a special dungeon recording to Shockmare, so will he be a free character? Yes, after clearing the story dungeon, you will obtain him as a 5 star for free. Now is this doable for newer players? I'm not quite sure. Does this actually mean that I can do a speedrun? He's a tank, so I'm not quite sure. However, I'm going to announce this straight away. There is a reason why I'm going to speedrun on the next patch, 100%. Stay tuned for that. We got some story cutscenes and here it is. Improvements to the Devouring Otherworldly Darkness Shockmat Dungeons. Alright, so the dungeons will be improved. I'm not quite sure what the improvement actually is, but this is where it says. The number of entry tickets that are charged every day and the total number of accumulated entry tickets will be reduced. So you don't have to do all of your 100s, but I'm not quite sure if we are then getting more rewards overall because they will counterbalance each other out. There is, however, a chance we might get a little bit more tickets. The funny thing is, the number of Shockman Helm decorations you own in the inventory consumables will be the same. So, right now we're in an event where you get these helms. Save them up. If you don't, uh, you will cry your eyeballs out. Otherworldly Darkness Shockman balance adjustments will be made for the battles. So, I'm assuming this will become a little bit easier. I know I've really had a hard time with 9. However, I was able to clear it after some time, so it might be a little bit sad for everybody to be able to do this and uh, get the same reward. But, ladies and gentlemen, this, this is it. I've been, I've been waiting for this. 
chase my man's 100 grand the one i've been advocating from the beginning of the game he is going to get a buff and i'm not sure how they're gonna do it i have multiple ideas on how they could buff the dude to make him do whatever he needs to do i just hope they don't mess with him man i really hope that they don't mess with him First of all, if you look at PvP chase, all that people are using is just purely this. You can take like the defense up and get some opportune striking, but none of these skills are even PvP. The T4 skills, you're abusing your resurrection. One of the skills that absolutely holds no meaning within the game. However, the buffs itself are nice, right? I like that. However, you're not, pr you don't want to die in this game. You don't, like, having that one time where you die and then clap the whole team for X amount of seconds is great at all. But please, remove that. It, it literally makes no sense. Now, please, just remake these things because, it, uh, man, the T5 Dark, absolutely, once again, useless. It has one of the combat mechanics into PvP because, hey, you lose HP, oh, you gain some attack speed, more crit damage, so you can then lifesteal back up. But, hey, here's the thing. If you're hitting a shield, this does not account for anything. You will die. So in the current meta where Fall of Frey and Evan are the god tier of the game, I'm hoping for another thing that would only be used for Chase, and that is the ability to lifesteal off of like shields. If he can do that, this guy will be absolutely godlike. Now, if I have to take another thing, uh, if we can get this S1 onto a area of effect, push back onto people that would be monstrous this way you can pair chase with nikki push people in move to the back with nikki just flail on him like i got so many options to buff this dude to make him absolutely broken increase the synergy and do just about whatever then this is three it literally does nothing uh it would be interesting if they would change this or increase the damage or increase the AOE by any child, just fuego all the way, but uh, there's so many things that they can do with this. But ladies and gentlemen, let's stop daydreaming for a second. We got Syria and Roy also receiving some balance adjustment. I'm not saying a buff because it might be bad and people might be stopping. Like, Why do you say buff? My character still sucks. Yeah, I, I, I'm not in the development team, man. I'm just very much looking forward to what is to come. Roy has been touched upon from start to finish. I've seen him changing looks, changing looks of skills. He actually got uh, buffed one time, did absolutely nothing. So I'm hoping for him to be super interesting. As for Syria, well, she kind of fell off the bandwagon the moment Panzer Rome came to show and maybe she will be a more of a pvp character maybe maybe she will become the most broken eclipse character once again because you can just swing swing people to death with defense ignore but i oh man it will be quite a saying to uh, see her back into some former glory but here's the thing guys, the fact that Roy is getting a balance adjustment, the fact that we get an instant tank from the newer event, that allows me to speed run Roy. You heard it here, we're going to speed run this the moment it gets live. I will probably post it on Wednesday, check my Discord for the actual date and time and make sure to tune in. Alright, next part is improvement for returning raiders, get more freebies. Come back to the game, play it. Very simple. I'm not sure what they're going to do to it, but hey, freebies are always good. Now that concludes the video. I'm a little bit sad that we're not receiving any new gameplay. Nothing in terms of guilds as of yet, but hopefully that will be done into the near future. And I am going to make sure that I make a full comparison video on to Chase and how well he is performing after that. Assuming that he will get buffed but let's find that out in the future for now hope you guys enjoyed put something down into the comments what you guys think they should do to these characters and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.